It's quiet, no squirrels, no planes for the moment. Here comes one right now. But even though there are noises outside, as John Chai used to say, it's not that the noises are disturbing us. We're disturbing the noises. Our comment on things, our comments on things. We like this, we don't like that. What's this, what's that? We have to learn how to put those things aside. There's that old question about what is the sound of one hand clapping. Well, it's when a sensory input comes in and the mind doesn't have, have a comment on it. Just lets it go. So watch out for your comments on things. As John Lee used to say, the different kinds of fabrication, bodily fabrication, verbal and mental. Verbal is a big troublemaker. The breath just does its thing. Perceptions, feelings, they just do their things. It's our comments on them that get the mind all worked up. So this conversation we have in the mind, this is what we've got to learn how to train. Otherwise it can take perfectly innocent things and make us miserable for a whole day, a whole week, a whole year, a whole lifetime. And when you watch it, you realize how arbitrary it is, the fact that you've directed your thoughts to something and you evaluated them. Well, why did you direct your thoughts there? There's so many things in the world you could be thinking about right now. Why did you have to focus on that? And that's for your evaluation. What are the standards you're using for evaluating it? For what purpose are you evaluating things? Or is it just for the sake of having a comment on things? It's good to divide your internal conversation into those two processes. Where are you directing your thoughts? How are you evaluating things? That's a way of pulling yourself out of those conversations. So we get practice with directed thought and evaluation as we work with the breath. And then we get more sensitive to that process in the mind, where then we can start seeing it in other areas of our lives as well. And we realize we really do create a lot of unnecessary suffering for ourselves with digging up old issues, stabbing ourselves with them again and again and again. And then dropping them, going off to something else. Now, it really was important. You should be thinking about it all the time. If it's not important enough to be thinking about it all the time, then why think about it? If it's only going to make you suffer. Think about the things that you can think about them and you get something accomplished. And if there's nothing to think about that you need to get accomplished, then you get the mind quiet. That cuts through a lot of suffering right there. 